headlights for my new Toyota Tacoma. everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today I'm going to be putting grill lights on my new Toyota Tacoma. Now these are a little bit different than the ones that I had before. In the past I have used these round lights. Some people call them Raptor lights, call them whatever you want. I'll call them grill lights. But what I'm going with this time are the square version these right here and they just snap into the grill from the front which makes it pretty easy right along the top here and I'm gonna go I think it's the only place I can go really is here 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 and here here I believe we'll see I suppose maybe they could fit down here I don't know but I think that look kinda of funky so I'm gonna put them up here on each side of the camera we're gonna wire them in anyway uh, at least get them ready to be wired in. They will be connected to my wireless charger or my wireless switch, I should say, here uh, once I get the whole project done. So let me go ahead and get them in the grill and then we'll do the wiring and get them ready to be connected up. Okay, let's go ahead and get these in. I've pushed one through already. The little connector piece down here, kind of tight to get through, but uh, it does go through. So I want to seat the first one just to make sure that it's going to fit properly before I feed all the others through there. So it's just a little, actually friction is what holds it. It has these little clips, if you will, that kind of push into the slot. So we should, in theory, be able to just push that sucker in there. They are tight. So you get the idea. They just slip into the slots like so. We'll go ahead and put the other ones across. And then uh, we'll get on to the wiring part. Okay, we got them all in. Uh, little asterisk, I guess. Uh, they were pretty difficult to fit in there. Uh, a very tight fit. So I did get them in. I had to actually wrap a screwdriver uh, in a rag and kind of push on the edges on this one and this one only. The other ones fit just the way they should. So. Quality, I don't know. They are in, so now let's move on to the wiring part. For the wiring, it did come with this little harness-like thing here, I guess. Just has little plugs, little waterproof things on them uh, that actually plug into the female ends, if you will, of the lights. So we're going to plug all that in, but before we do that, I do have the wire here for the wireless accessory controller. Uh, that I'm just going to wire into the end. This thing is grounded through the controller, so I don't have to do anything other than tie the wiring from the harness that they provide into mine, and then this, of course, will plug into the wireless charger, or wireless controller, I should say, right here uh, itself. It's just that simple. And that's what I really like about that wireless charger over there. Uh, makes it very easy. So now, just going to go ahead and splice these together, get them plugged in, and then pretty much that's it. Just have to tie the wiring down under here, I'll zip tie it under here, and, uh, and then that'll be the install. Okay, for those of you interested in the guts of it, what I've done is I've taken my wireless controller wire and connected it to the harness of the wire for the lights. Now, to do that, I use these things. These are pretty cool. These are solder seal connectors. And all you do is you feed the wires into both ends of this, heat it up, and then there's solder right in the middle. It will melt, uh, putting the wires together. I just use a lighter for that. And then uh, these little blue areas you see here, they also melt to grasp the uh, sheath of the wires, if you will. And then I just use some heat shrink, not too difficult shrunk the wires and then I shrunk over the top of everything with just a heat gun. You have to be careful with these. They get really, really hot. Uh, so I did all that. I am going to go ahead and use the old electrical tape just to cover this whole thing up here just to be sure. And that's it. Then I just plug the ends into the lights in the grill 
and we're good to go. So let me go ahead and get this taped up. I'm not the best taper in the world, I'll tell you. And, uh, and then we'll get these plugged in to the lights themselves. Got everything uh, all tied up. Uh, I'll show you, let's see, my taping job. Again, I am not the best taperer in the world, but uh, there you go. There's my tape job uh, for what it's worth. Now, let's go ahead and plug these in. Again, these are just little clips that hold these in or whatever little pressures, pressure connectors, if you will. So you just want to push them in. Pretty simple. At least <laughs> I'm assuming it's pretty simple. And they give you plenty of wire, that's for darn sure. I don't think we're going to have a shortage of wire. So, have to do something with that, of course, under the hood, but we'll get to that. Make sure you put the thing on the right way, as I just tried to not do there. Okay, a couple more, and one more. Oh, and they do push in further. Make sure you seat them properly. That's a smart way to go, I think. Okay, that's it. Everything is plugged in. I'll flip it around, let you guys see what it looks like in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do something with this uh, abundance of wire I have here, at least to somehow secure it underneath so you can't see it from the front. Then I'll flip it around. I'll show you what it looks like. We got her all tied up. Hopefully this isn't in the way. I always forget what this pushes up against underneath the front of the truck there. But I think it's okay. Uh, it's all tied up here. Here is the TSS system thing. It's out of the way. It plugs in right here actually. So I think we're okay as far as all that goes. The wire will feed off to the right or the driver's side of the truck because that's where uh, it's going to connect. I may put another tie right here actually just to hold that up uh, because it's going to feed somewhere down this way. So let's go ahead, I'll flip it around, show you what it looks like. All right, there's what the grill looks like with the lights in the front. Notice I do have a spot here for the camera. Uh, that will come down the road, we shall see. But they're amber lights. I think they go well with the badging that I put on the front, the tiles. I think it looks pretty good. There will be some shots uh, at the end of the video of the grill on the truck. I do have another little lighting project or two that I'm going to tackle as well. So I'm going to work my way over to that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you like them or not? Have a look at the pictures at the end, of course. Also, real quick, I do have an additional channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check that out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.